Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Miss Tink. That's M I Z Z N M I S S. And if y'all wondering where it's Empire and Love and Hip Hop reunion, nine times out of ten, I'm, well, let me put it out there. I'm gonna combine the reunions together. And same thing with Empire. I was not feeling it last week. I ain't gonna lie. That presidential election just had me just all dis discombobulated want to disconnect with social media a little bit i didn't feel like recording i didn't feel like doing the damn thing so they will be combined i do apologize for that but i just wasn't here i was just i was i was in my feelings yes i was about the election so i just didn't feel like recording doing the damn thing i watch others and i love them all you already know but um as far as me being on camera no, so I'm here to talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 9, Episode 2, Housewives, House Wars, and then others will proceed as the week goes by. Before I get into that, I want to send a special birthday shout out to my oldest brother, Lil Kurt. Today is his birthday. Woo woo! If you are on my Instagram, you see, not my Instagram, my Facebook, you see I shared um, our picture that we took together the last time we was together at my aunt. May she rest in peace funeral in july so happy birthday bro i love you Mwah. do your damn thing and i'm so blessed to see you making another year get it get it get it all right let's get into this review so i can get ready for work okay okay all right oh and before i go on with this video y'all want to say rest in peace to miss gwen ifo she passed away today at 61 may she rest in peace i i did watch a little bit of gwen ifo with my dad i did i, I did so it May she rest in peace. She passed away of cancer. And cancer is a killer because that's what, you know, took both of my aunts out. But, you know, may she rest in peace, Miss Gwen Eiffel. You will be greatly, greatly missed, okay? Represent for our black women and women all over, but definitely represent for our black women. So, rest in peace, Miss Gwen Eiffel. So, let's get into this review, y'all. Um, I'm tired of hearing about these houses, okay? Like, get... get Give me some a little bit more, but I guess, mm, whatever. So, of course, it starts off where Portia came in and Sheree doing her, whoo, whoo, like, girl, Sheree, okay. I'm sorry, I just like when she do that. Anyways, um, Sheree doing her noise, and she's, uh, Portia speaking to everybody and all of that stuff. Cynthia, like, you know, Portia, why you here? You wasn't invited. Cynthia, girl, worry about your marriage or your divorce and stop worrying about everybody else. Okay, look. I'm just saying, she was Phaedra plus one, although Miss Phaedra, that was kind of messy because you already know what it is, but whatever. Anyways, um, they have a respectful conversation. I will give it to Miss Kenya, you know, when she saw her, although she called her a thought, bitch, try it. You really stop trying it because don't act like that little outfit you had on, although it was cute, but them titties was looking like some nice, you know, nice polished nuts you know roasted nuts sitting up there and that's a little thottish too so whatever so don't be doing that with Portia like girl like I'm I'm, I'm I'm gonna need you to stop okay like that's why I don't really care for your ass anyways Kenya but whatever so they go they both go outside or whatever you know and I have to give it to Portia I'm glad that she you know she was just respectful about it although Miss Kenya was just running talking about, you know this is my house and this girl just said you want the girl to go okay she understood it. she was like okay and while clean smooth off only thing I can say about Kenya, despite the little damn thought comment, bitch, bye, uh, was the fact that at least you took her outside and didn't try to do it like a public display, especially the history that y'all have. So, Portia left, Phaedra left too, of course, and then, you know, Kenya was like, you know, since, you know, Portia, I just didn't feel comfortable, you know, she's been kicked out of other, you know, fancier places. Whatever. I'm, I'm really getting tired of y'all making it seem like Portia's the big bad bully. At the end of the day, Portia's just like any old regular chick out there. You fuck with her, she's going to get your ass back. So don't sit up there and act like y'all better than her because what? No. Please. I'm sorry. I'm getting tired of y'all making it seem like she a big bully and y'all so afraid. Like, what? Y'all grown ass woman. What the hell are you doing afraid of another grown ass woman? She don't fuck with you like that. Not like that, but I mean, if you don't fuck with her, like push her buttons like any old person, you know, anybody, then she ain't got to come after your ass. Like, come on now. Y'all motherfuckers is like, I'm, I'm tired of y'all thinking that she's just someone can't, you know, control her anger. Maybe if you wouldn't add fuel or stop poking, you know, like they say, poking at a cage bear, when their ass come out, they come after your ass. Maybe if you would stop doing that to each other, let alone to her, then maybe she wouldn't have to. Like, come on now, don't sit up here and act like, you know, you all, don't, don't do that. Any, any normal person already know, if you don't fuck with nobody in the first place, you will not get fucked back with. At the end of the day, every action has a reaction. Leave motherfuckers alone, then you wouldn't have to worry about somebody 
trying to tap that ass, okay? So I'm sorry, I just, I didn't like that. Anyways, um, Sheree goes down there and talks to them or whatever. You know, she's trying to get her side or whatever. Matt also shows up, makes it very awkward. Her and Kenya go talk or whatever. Everybody else leaves. Sheree takes Portia and Phaedra home or maybe waits for them. I don't know. She said, I'm going to just take y'all home. Okay, glad they got home safe or whatever. Sheree, your ass is messy, but I still love you, girl. Anyways, um... Matt and Kenya, they having a little talk, whatever. He apologizes, and they going to work it all now. Okay, good luck with all of that, I guess. Anyways, um, Cynthia and her daughter, um, Noelle, she is so beautiful. That that girl is beautiful. Right on, Miss Cynthia. You're beautiful, too, so trust. Mm -hmm, you and Leon had a beautiful child. Anyways, so they're all talking and stuff, and, you know, Noelle just basically put it out there like any of us kids, you know, how we was. We was all her age. I hear y'all arguing. So I'm like, what the hell? But I really think like Noelle really struck a chord with Cynthia when she said like, do you have low self-esteem? Because the look on Cynthia's face was like, damn. Like, you know, she said, you know, anybody with self-esteem wouldn't put up with that. And I'm like, Noelle's very smart. Very smart. So, I mean, obviously it hit a, hit a uh, nerve with Cynthia and Cynthia just, you know, got in her feelings and they hugged it out. So Cynthia's going to go with the divorce. And girl, you know it's bad when your daughter... Okay, can put egg on your face with the truth. The same thing you taught her how to be. So I'm saying, work that out, Cynthia. Uh, Candy and Ty, they going over, you know, doing business with their baby right on Candy. Make, your ass might be cheap, but still make your money any way she can. So now she's coming out with an Ace Baby line because everybody love Baby Ace. He is so handsome. Right on, girl. I like the logo with the fox, and I do like the little horsey thing. Me and my mom was watching her. I was like, yeah, that is cute. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. So, right on. She making her money. Mama Joyce come in, and she want to know about, of course, where they at with the all lady gang. I like the little logo and everything, but the restaurant still ain't up. Maybe you should have listened to Cynthia, but okay. Good luck with all of that. So, it's supposed to be up by Todd's birthday, but it really supposed to be up by Candy's birthday. So, we shall see, you know. Then, of course, they talk about the housewarming, and that's when Candy just basically put out there that Portia got put out by Sheree and all of that shit. I mean, not Sheree, uh, Kenya and all of that shit. And Mama Joyce, you know, she said it right. Like, if you know they don't like, some, they don't like that person, then why would you bring them, a.k.a. Phaedra being messy, which I understand that, too. The way she threw shade about Phaedra, talk about... Her ass about look the Georgia law. If you so if your man is incarcerated or your spouse is incarcerated more than two years, you can get a divorce. I said, Lord Jesus, she just going in on Phaedra. Talk about she need to be sharing a cell with Apollo. Mama Joyce don't like Phaedra. Everybody like what the hell? We already know Don Juan is all here for it. Todd like look, I don't give a shit. Maybe Mama Joyce is telling the truth, but I'm just glad I'm not the target. He's sitting over there like. Mm -hmm. Candy like I ain't trying to hear it. look at the end of the day we are cordial we good so I ain't trying to hear what y'all say Candy you know you was eating that shit up girl I'm just saying but I feel you are making that money for your baby down here with the baby line and good luck with the old lady gang restaurant hopefully I can eat that one day one day you never know anyways um Phaedra and Kenya meet up along with Portia and Sheree they all meet up and first, you know, I ain't gonna lie, Kenya, you look good in that yellow, girl. That yellow was nice on you. So they all talk, you know, they're in a better place. And, you know, Fade, you're talking about, bitch, I'm all made of you, so you all pain us. Because we all know, you know, Kenya's skin is getting, you know, a little cleared up. You know what I'm saying? She look a little happy. Got that glow, you know, along with that yellow. Got that glow, a.k.a. Matt. So, you know, they all talk, and I guess they're okay now, whatever. And then that's when, of course, Portia and Sheree meet up, and they talk about the whole thing with um the whole housewoman thing and how she took it about being put out and stuff. And, you know, Portia said, you know, she had a better place. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Phaedra bringing up her divorce to Kenya, talking about, you know, she just not ready and all that stuff. Kenya ain't buying it. I ain't buying it either, girl. We all know Phaedra getting her rocks off. Okay, okay. But, hey, it is what it is. Then um that's when... um. Phaedra brings up the fact that, you know, uh, Kenya put Portia out. And Kenya was like, you know, I'm just, I ain't ready. But she was like, you know, she's taking anger management. This is what Phaedra was saying to Kenya. She's like, oh, is she cured? Stop it. Like, and I felt where Portia, not Portia, Phaedra was saying, like, give the girl a chance. Like, at least she trying and stuff. Which she don't need fucking anger management. A.K.A. Kenya, stop fucking with motherfuckers. And you ain't got to worry about somebody trying to tap your ass. Whatever. Anyways. After that, we see, um... Uh, Portia, not Portia, Phaedra extends the invite because, you know, Portia want to put an event to show that, put on the event that she can move on or whatever, you know, and be the bigger person and get the ladies together and all that stuff. And, you know, Sheree was like, you know, I used to be labeled the bitch. Sheree, I, I, I 
yeah, I understand where you're coming from because, bitch, you was hitting with the one-liners who gonna check me, boo, and what you did with Kim here and you and Nene going back and forth. I understand, you know, so, you know, Sheree kind of sympathized with Portia, but she sees that she's trying to do a better thing, so she having this event, and Kenya was like, you know, when she sends me a formal invite, we sh I, I might think about it because we already know how she feels about invites, especially if it's coming from Phaedra. So we're gonna see how that goes, I guess. After that, uh, oh, I also forgot... Um, I love how Portia brought up to Sheree, are you moved in your house? And Sheree straight up dodged that answer. And Portia like, bitch, I don't give a damn if it ain't no furniture in my house at all. I'm going to sleep up on that damn floor, get an air mattress. I ain't mad at you, okay? If it's my house, I don't give a damn if it ain't nothing in there. I'm going to sleep on a, you know what I'm saying, air mattress. Give me some takeout until my furniture come in. There ain't no reason for me to put all this money in it. And it's halfway decent for me to sleep in. Maybe if it's a little too cold, depending on the weather. But either way, I'm still going to sleep on my damn house shit or in my house. But I see you, Sheree. You dodged that answer. So the answer, of course, is no. Now we see why Kenya didn't know what address to send your invite, girl. I'm just saying. Whatever. Um, Kenya meets up with... um. No, Candy and Ty go see the restaurant. I forgot that part. Candy and Ty go see the restaurant. Whatever. Candy is worried about the failure. We all know what happened with her mother's love and how the people, like, I feel sorry for them people. And I'm glad Candy felt sorry for them, too, as well. So she don't want another failure. So, you know, the grand, uh, the 80s come in. I'm Bertha. I love you. Her facial expression. Oh, my God. They all see the restaurant and everything, how it's coming together. Candy worried about how they going to feel, so it's Todd. But, you know, it went pretty well. It went pretty well. And then I forgot Candy's other aunt name. But the way she brought up talking about, you know, maybe, you know, we could take pictures with everybody. Charging pictures and sh mm, 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 mm. I wonder where that auntie got that idea from. But I'm just saying, we all know how it is, Sheree. <laughs> Let me stop. And then that's what she brings up also, you know, um... You know, cooking and stuff. Aunt Bertha says she ain't cooking a damn thing. She be damn. She ain't cooking a damn thing. Then they talk about getting paid by the hour. They want their money. You know what I'm saying? Todd, he, you know, he smoothed them answers a little bit. But he's like, you know, can't like, look, let's worry about getting in the black first before we worry about paying because it's all this money. And even Mama Joyce was like, yeah, this is a lot of money too. But it was nice that they all liked to see what, it, you know, what's going to come out of the whole thing. And I, I like how the restaurant ideas so i hope they get that up and i hope it goes really well i'm just saying i would like to try it but hey it is what it is um after that we see um excuse me the hell somebody calling me y'all hold on sorry about that i have to pause it real quick because um i ain't got time for them to be flagging me about playing big rich town which is my you know from power my uh ringtone but sorry about that anyways um after that um we see, let me see where else I'm at in my notes. Okay. Kenya and Candy and Cynthia go to this, you know, waxing thing. You know, they want to wax. They, you know, because we all know Kenya need a little trim since Matt, you know, is back in business with, you know, beating them walls in. You know what I'm saying? So, I understand. You know, get your little waxing on. Get it, girl, you know. And Cynthia, what the hell you tasting that wax for? I felt what Candy was saying, girl. Hell no, girl. I don't know if there's a hair or follicle, anything from the last person. I don't know where that wax been. I don't give a damn if it's sweet. Okay, but hey, it is what it is. You know, they get their wax on after all of that or whatever. That's when, of course, Sheree says the big old, not Sheree, but Kenya says the big old thing about how Sheree was talking noise about her house and all of this stuff, about the baseboards and stuff. And then talking about, you know, my house is in my name and your mother signed up for your house. So that way the IRS won't come after you. And I was like, mm. so called it Chateau Thelma. I said, okay, but we don't know for sure if her mama really signed off, so we don't know, but it's hearsay, but you know, she's talking about, you know, how she felt about it and all of this stuff, and you know, Candy like, well, when the girl gonna move in the house and all of this stuff, she's like, I don't know, but hey, it is what it is, and I'm like, Lord Jesus, I, I guess, I, I guess, she said that she gonna talk to Sheree about it, so we should see. After that, Cynthia meets up with Peter. You look good in that dress, girl. You was looking good. And, you know, they go back and forth. We see that Peter's in his emotions. So is Cynthia. Cynthia, like, you need to get back to this lawyer. Peter said he ain't ready to. Then Peter brings up the fact that, you know, he went to the hospital, something up with his heart. And when they put down as far as who can they call for emergency, that's where they hit him that, damn, I can't put Cynthia. So, you know, Cynthia got emotions. I mean, you know, just because we're not together or not married doesn't mean I still don't care about you. We started off as friends first, and you already said, if we wasn't happy, we wasn't going to settle. You said that. And, you know, 
Peter was like, damn, I did say that and all of this stuff. But, you know, it hit him. And so he wasn't ready to sign. But when she told him that, you know, that's when she was like, you know, I still want you to be a part of Noel's life. I still want to be friends. We're still going to be friends. I just can't be married to you. So I guess it triggered Peter, which he understand. I want you to be happy. And he know what he said to her. So he's going to stick by his word. He called that lawyer up or whatever and said, you know what, I'll sign everything. You know, just send it to, you know, my lawyers go over it. I'll send it back to you and all this stuff. And you could tell it hurt him. Like, it really hurt him. Like, it's it's really done. You know, even Cynthia, you know, it hurts her too. But she got to do what she got to do. They didn't even hug. He just gets up and walks off. And I was like, damn. Even when she said, you know, you look like you've been losing weight. Did you been, you know, you've been working out and stuff. He was like, yeah, whatever. You could tell it just hurt him. I was like, well, marriages sometimes end. I mean, hey. I just wish them two the best, but hey, it is what it is, so I guess. After that, um, everybody meets up for the mystery room thing. We have we have uh Sheree, Phaedra, and Candy on one team, then we have Portia, uh uh Cynthia and um Kenya on another team. But before everybody got there, did y'all see how Kenya not Kenya, but Phaedra and Candy was just like, mm, just not even mm, you know, just chilling and stuff, like didn't like nothing, like I was like, well, damn, like, I thought, like, at least a hey, girl, how you been doing? Nothing, just straight in the phones, okay? We can see that friendship will never be the same again. Sheree come in and ask, you know, did they come together? Did they uh, make up? First thing Candy said, we didn't come together. You see, she didn't say nothing about making up, so, mm-hmm. But then everybody else show up. Can you talk about, um, I, I don't, um, I want to come and see if, you know, she was actually cured as far as with Portia and her anger management. Shut the fuck up. Like, really, can you? I'm getting tired of you. I, I really am, but whatever. Um, Portia comes up with this whole mystery room thing idea. I mean, I thought it was kind of cute. It's very different other than drinking, and we all know when the liquor gets flown, that's when the shit gets started, so I'm... Kudos for you on that one, Portia, okay? But the teams or whatever, I was like, girl, okay. But hey, Portia trying to show she a bigger person. And then going to sit up here and say, although I don't like you, Kenya, that read was funny talking about as long as Portia ain't got to unlock nothing or ask about where the Underground Railroad is, we are good. That shit was funny, but that shit was funny to me. I'm sorry. That shit was funny to me. It was. I'm sorry. It was. I'm, it really was. And then when Sheree brought about them bam baseboards, um, the, the baseboards and all that shit. That shit was funny too. But anyways, ain't nobody win with the mystery room at all. Nobody won. You know, although I will say Candy's team got a little bit further than Portia and them team, but nobody won. It was cute though. I thought it was cute. Although Kenya was like, she didn't understand what this means. But girl, it's trying something new. Okay, stop it, girl. Stop it. At least she had balls enough to be friends with you after you done put, well, not be friends, but be on your team and be cordial with you after you put her out of her house. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, that had nothing to do with Portia, although Phaedra, you was being very messy, but she was the plus one and you was not specific that Portia could not come either, okay? So, let's, let's, let's stop it. But we all know this shit was just done for ratings. Anyways, so, um, after the whole thing with everybody leaves, Sheree and Kenya... They go and had their little talk. And Baby was a straight up shade fest about everything. I ain't gonna lie. Kenya, you did start it when you shaded Sheree talking about four or five years. However, it may be true or not, you still started with her. And my thing is, how the fuck you feel some type of way about her saying some shit about her house when you was worried about what the fuck she said in the first episode? If you was so worried and felt some type of way about people talking shit about your house, regardless if you specify or not, you shouldn't even have the damn housewoman. You know how these women are. Especially Sheree. I know you've seen other seasons before your ass got on here. Come on now. Like, Please, we all know how everybody is. Y'all shade each other to their face and behind the back. Don't act like this is new. This ain't new for you, okay? Granted, what you were saying was true about how long y'all been friends and now you're moving in your house. That is very true. Very, very true. I agree. But still, don't sit up here and act like that or get in your feelings or feel some type of way when you already knew that was coming. I'm going to need you to use your 40, 55, whatever 60-year-old brain of experience and understand. If you wasn't prepared, motherfuckers are going to talk good or bad, and you damn sure was not prepared for everything to have that housewarming, so what did you expect? Stop it, girl. Bye. But, you know, Sheree put that bag down or whatever. She was like, oh, I thought you were going to hit me when she said, no, I put it down so I won't hit you with it. Okay? And at the end of the day, granted, the shade was real, and you did call her a bitch first, and then you called her a hoe. You ain't going to try it with Sheree. I don't care what you say, Kenya. You you will walk away when it comes to Nene and when it comes to Sheree. Just like how you was trying Portia. Kept trying poking at Portia, you know damn well you wasn't going to try it with Sheree. Call her a man or not, she would drop the fuck out of you. And you know that, okay, Kenya?
please stop it. But overall, the shade was funny. The argument was pointless. At the end of the day, Kenya, you should have been more prepared. Sheree, you want to talk shit? She want to talk shit? Yes, Sheree ain't in her house. Granted, Sheree, you need to own up to it, girl, because ain't no reason for your ass not to be sleeping in your damn house or whatever. But still, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, but it is what it is. You know, Sheree, can you twirl and whatever? And then that's when Sheree said, girl, twirl on them baseboards. I said, bitch. The shade was funny from both of them. I ain't even gonna lie. Because when she called her a man, I was like, well, damn. But that her ass will whoop the fuck out of you, Kenya. I'm sorry. Don't try. Like I said, y'all can call me out on it, whatever. I do feel like Kenya know who to try and who not to try. Because the same way she came at Portia, the same way she came at Kim, she was right to walk away from Sheree. Because Sheree would beat the fuck out of her. That's why she put that purse down. Because when she said, watch him, she said, what you gonna do, boo? That's when you should have did something. Just like how you did to Portia and Kim, you ain't going to try them like that. You ain't even going to try Candy like that. Not even Cynthia. And Cynthia, we all know her ass. But you ain't going to try her. You try the mother too, but you ain't going to try her. Girl, bye. But this episode was okay. I'm done with the house stuff. Can we move on to something else or whatever? Just stop it. Just. But it made somewhat entertainment because the shade was kind of funny too. I'm just saying it is what it is. But that's it, y'all. I'm Miss Tink, that's M-I-Z-Z, not M-I-S-S. Hope y'all have a blessed, blessed day, a blessed week, a prosperous week, and a prosperous day. And like I said about the other videos with Love and Hip Hop and Empire, 9 times out of 10, they will be combined because I was not feeling it last week because of the election, so it is what it is. Happy birthday to my bro. Happy birthday to you. I love you. And of course, shout out to my girl T for my braids. They're still looking good. Thank you, baby. All right, y'all be blessed. Deuces. Bye.